Across the vast southern Great Plains, a lone Comanche scout perches on a hill, eyes fixed on a distant dust cloud. It's the early 17th century, and the Comanche are without horses, often outmatched by neighboring tribes with better mobility. As the cloud draws closer, revealing a raiding party, the urgency of their need for horses becomes clear. This tense moment marks a turning point for the Comanche. Soon, they would embrace the horse, transforming their society and claiming new power across the plains. In the 17th century, the Comanche people lived as nomads across the southern Great Plains. At that time, they were a small and relatively unknown group, often overshadowed by more powerful neighboring tribes such as the Apache and Kiowa. Limited to traveling on foot, they struggled to defend their territory and secure the resources needed for survival. Life was a constant battle against both nature and rival tribes. The arrival of the Spanish in the southwestern United States would change their destiny forever. The conquistadors brought with them many things, among them the horse. Initially just part of the European expansion, these horses soon became a pivotal element in the plains ecology when they escaped or were released. For the Comanche, who first saw these animals as novelties, the horses quickly became integral to their way of life, transforming their society fundamentally and irrevocably. As the Comanche began to incorporate horses into their daily lives, the impact was immediate and profound. The tribe's mobility increased exponentially, allowing them to travel further and faster than ever before. This newfound speed was not only advantageous for hunting the buffalo, which roamed the plains in vast herds, but it also enhanced their capabilities in warfare. By the early 18th century, the Comanche had started to shift from being frequent targets to formidable adversaries, leveraging their mobility to engage in raids and expand their territory. The mastery of horseback riding also catalyzed a cultural transformation within the tribe. Horses became symbols of wealth and power, integral to the social structure of the Comanche community. Their ability to breed and manage large herds of horses became a key aspect of their identity and economy. The tribe developed sophisticated techniques for training and handling horses, which not only solidified their dominance over the southern plains, but also turned them into sought-after partners and formidable foes in the emerging trade networks with Europeans and other Native American tribes. With their unparalleled skills in horseback riding and warfare, the Comanche began to exert influence over a vast stretch of the Great Plains. Their strategic use of mobility allowed them to create a network of alliances and trading routes that extended their influence even further. As the Comanche mastered horseback riding, they transformed from a group frequently targeted by more powerful tribes into one of the most formidable powers on the Southern Plains. By the mid-18th century, they had not only improved their military tactics, but also used their superior mobility to exact revenge against tribes that had once oppressed them. Leveraging their newfound prowess, the Comanche initiated a series of strategic raids against their enemies. These were not mere skirmishes, but well-planned military operations that allowed them to reclaim territories and assert control over critical resources. Each victory brought more power and more territory, expanding their influence across what is now Texas, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. As their empire grew, so did their culture of warfare. The Comanche became renowned as fierce warriors, a reputation that attracted warriors from other tribes. Their dominance was most visibly asserted at their annual gatherings, which evolved into elaborate displays of power and wealth. These events drew thousands from various tribes, not only to trade but to witness the might of the Comanche and negotiate alliances under their terms. The gatherings served as a platform to demonstrate their wealth, primarily derived from the horse and bison high trade which they controlled through their strategic position as middlemen between the northern tribes and the Spanish colonies. Yet, the Comanche influence extended beyond mere military might and economic power. They imposed cultural influences on neighboring tribes, incorporating captured warriors and assimilating other groups into their society, thus enriching their own cultural practices and ensuring a diverse genetic lineage. Their adaptability and strategic marriages between groups further cemented their status as a pivotal power on the plains. This period marked the zenith of Comanche power, a time when they dictated the terms of engagement both in trade and in war across the Great Plains. 
Their ability to adapt and strategically leverage their advantages epitomize the height of their cultural, political, and military influence.